Medical Watch is sponsored by U Chicago Medicine, bringing expert primary and urgent care close to home with locations throughout Chicagoland. Schedule online at uchicagomedicine.org. Well, in tonight's cover story, a full circle moment. Medical reporter Dina Baird tells a story three decades in the making. We call this one lost and found. A young mother lost after delivering a tiny baby, but she found a way to give that child a bright future. And the baby found her purpose in life back at the very spot where she was left in 1992. I come here before I go to work. That's how Nestor Hermogeno started each shift at Ascension St. Mary in Chicago. I pay for everyone, you know, everyone, my kids, my family. He worked at the West Side Hospital as a secretary in the ICU. Everybody's friendly. Nurses are friendly. On March 20th, 1992. I was the only one here. Kneeling in his usual spot, he wasn't alone. And I saw, I said, wow. <laughs> Oh, it's a baby, it's a baby, you know? Wrapped in a blanket in just a few hours, maybe a day old. That's where I found her. <laughs> the infant left in the hospital chapel made the news. We found the story in the WGN archives. Oh, look at that. We showed the video clip to That's Ivory and Donald Reisterer. And look at that bow. She didn't like bows. See, this is love, that's all that is. I fell in love with that baby, didn't even know her. The former teacher and her husband, a retired police officer, did know they wanted to add to their family with two grown sons. Ivory and I were considering about adoption. And I always wanted to have a daughter. That is so beautiful. That's who we saw that very first day. We saw th this beautiful baby. She just grabbed my finger and wouldn't let go. And then Ivory came by and put her arms around both of us and said, we're a package deal. They named their newly adopted daughter Logan Nicole and brought her to their home on Chicago's South Side 31 years ago. That blanket was me. And I still think that was just, how amazing is that, even though we didn't know who my birth family was. I've always had an amazing, amazing, amazing family and amazing parents. We did everything we were supposed to. The family embraced us. The neighborhood embraced us. I had a happy childhood. They've always supported me in making sure, like I said, I knew where I came from. I knew my story. But that's not where Logan's story ends. We said, you need a good education. And as she was going through school, what would you like to be when you grow up? Do you want to have orientation for, yes. for treasures? Yes. I always wanted to be in the medical field. This was actually my very first nursing job. And I actually came my first day of orientation into the chapel. I walked in and it felt like I had always been here. Like I had seen it before. It, like this wave of familiarity came over me. It felt like home in a way. In fact, it was her first home. She started two years ago working at the West Side Hospital, just four floors up from Nestor. I felt good. I mean, that I found her, that I, I was part of it, you know. I'm so glad. Hi. <laughs> when I first met Nestor, I was, I couldn't believe it. This is where I'm starting out my nursing career, something that I've wanted to do for years and years and years, something I went back to school to do, and it's all kind of coming full circle, and now I'm here. Oh, yeah, this is where I found you, this right here. How amazing is that, that somebody that comes here every day, the, the nicest man in the world, he's the one that found me here. So this is the one yeah, yeah, that I came yeah, home car, yeah, And then these this. are the clothes I think that I was into. Wow. Her blanket, the tiny dress she was wearing when found, all of it carefully kept over the years. I was healthy, I was warm, I was dressed up. I was loved. They could have left me anywhere. I'm glad that, you know, it came out, you came out to be what you are now. I mean, it's 
I'm proud of you. And Logan hopes her birth parents are proud of her too. There's always that question of, you know, where are they now? Are they okay? You know, are they still around? Are they still with us? I guess if I met them today, I would just say, hi, how are you? This is how I turned out. I hope it's what you dreamed of. I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful for all of this. Oh, see there. When Logan started working at the hospital, it was her fellow nurses who connected the dots and helped reunite her with Nestor, who is now retired. A beautiful connection indeed. Back to you. Mm. Connection and a friendship. Life has Gets a way you. of surprising you there. 